Yeah, I think this was the one question where I wanted to highlight some things because it involves uh, putting together different pieces of information from different sections. And, you know, I, I guess I, I mean, those are all the sections. <laughs> this is the section that describes protostar. And this is the section that it describes a star like our sun, a star on main sequence um, that's uh, fusing hydrogen in the core <laughs> and nowhere else. And this is, describes a um, uh, main sequence star that is going on to become a red giant. Um, and I, I guess one piece of information that I felt your textbook didn't highlight super, um, or rather emphasize as much as I, I thought I would have, and I actually did in the slides, is a connection between these two uh, figures, which is in this solar interior theory, at the very end, they have a plot of a chart that tells you, you um, how the material is distributed around the sun. And what I think is interesting here is this percentage of hydrogen by weight. So in a main sequence star like our sun, it's not uniformly the same. The core where the fusion is going on um, is going to start to run out of hydrogen. So this is, I guess, where they estimate things are at now. Towards the end of sun's life, in about 4 billion years, this will have dropped all the way to zero, out to some distance. And out here, you will still have a hydrogen, but because this is the um, up through this rate end of the radiative zone, the materials don't really mix. So the core is going to remain at, remain hydrogen poor. And this section also gives you a figure that describes that um, here. That, so this is the main sequence of star, you know, hydrogen burning core and the envelopes around it. And this is where it's beginning to form the helium core. And that's when it's gonna soon move on to the uh, red giant stage. So, so yeah, that's a, um, so that's a going on to red giant. This is the late stage red giant. Oh, I, I gotta fix this link. And this is the, um, um, the this is the, uh, what's going to be the oldest stage white dwarf. Let's look. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some rough ordering and I might need to change things around a little bit. Uh, start of uniform composition from center to surface. It contains hydrogen, but has no nuclear reaction going on in the core. That feels like that's describing a protostar because no nuclear reactions in the core. So protostar might be the youngest. Um, so let me just mark this as A. Okay. Um, a star that is fusing hydrogen to form helium in its core. Um, yeah, that, that's what starts to once they reach a zero age main sequence. I think that's the second youngest. Let me just keep going. That could be the lock of the draw. A star that has no nuclear reactions going on in the core, but is fusing hydrogen to form helium in a shell around the core. Oh yeah, so this is the beginning of the red giant stage. And, um, and I feel like that's the, did I not randomize the order here? That's the third youngest stage, I think. A star that is fusing helium to carbon in the core and hydrogen to helium in a shell around the core. Yeah, I think your textbook described this as a brief period of stability where this fusion of helium provides an energy source to maintain the hydrostatic equilibrium. So that's the second oldest. ABCD concerns me. Let me just keep going. No nuclear reactions in the core, which is made primarily of carbon and oxygen. Yeah. And um, there may be reactions going on in the outer layers, but when all of that eventually stops, it, it, the, the carbon and oxygen will end up becoming the white dwarf. Um, so that's the oldest stage. Um, yeah, I mean, the answers are right, but what concerns me is, did I not randomize this? Let me just check. Um, I, I don't know. Um, 
I mean, I guess every now and then it does happen by random luck of the draw where it's randomized in such a way that it's okay. Uh, yeah, so it must have been just, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just a weird thing that happened for the version that was generated for me. Um, I, that happens, um, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, you know, I have no control over how that order gets generated. So when you do see something like this, don't let that confuse you as it's apparently confusing me. Um, 